Hello everyone, welcome back to Terraria. Um, there's a lot of things that kind of happened uh, between this episode, or the last episode and this episode. Um, for starters, uh, we got invaded by goblins, and unfortunately I wasn't able to commentate over it. I did record it though, because I'm trying to be better about that. Uh, but basically, what we've learned is that we are horribly, horribly underprepared for goblin invasions. Uh, secondly, and I might have recorded this too, I'm not too sure, but I will show you if I did. Uh, we rescued this guy, and he's going to be the reason why our episode is going to have purpose today. As this is the goblin tinkerer, and what he does is... Um, he sells this tinkerer's workshop, and what you can do is you can combine certain accessories. So, seeing that we're here at this point of time, I'm going to show you at least a few accessories that we're going to combine. And then we're also going to create like a, at least a couple other worlds and hopefully we can get a few items. And I will explain that to you all in just a second. So, first things off, let's explain to you how this thing works. So, I've got the uh, these Angry Hermes boots that I also found off camera, I believe. Which are very, very freaking helpful. This was the item I was looking for. And then I bought some brisk rocket boots from the Tinkerer himself. So now that we got those together, we can combine them so they have both properties to create the Spectre boots. So not only will be will be able to run very, very fast, um, we can go up high too. And it looks like it gave us defense, which is actually pretty helpful. So let's see, 22 defense. Very, very helpful. And then we could put our other uh, band of regeneration on, which I, um, which is, oh, that, by the way, that's another thing he does. He could reforge those prefixes at the end of it or at the beginning of it. So you can get uh, extra bonuses. Like you notice how we've had like the plus two movement speed and the blah, blah, blahs, like as an extra bonus past that. Well, that was all because of him. So, um, well, no, they're randomly generated, but you use him and you can get uh, better things or more specific things. You just have to keep on rerolling. It costs a little bit of gold each time. So the other thing that we're going to do um, today is we're, there's a couple items that we need to hunt for. We need to hunt for two more red balloons, two of these guys. And last but not least, uh, we need to find desert in a bottle because we have a blizzard in the bottle. I also found cloud in a bottle. And the reason why we want to do that is, uh, let me show you. Let me show you real quick. Since we're in the Tinker's Workshop, we can combine the balloon and then the bottles to create blizzard in a balloon, cloud in a balloon, and um, desert in a balloon. And that increases your jump height as well as has a little bit extra kick from the blizzard in the balloon. So now our height is really good. And with the rocket boots, we could go up pretty high, really high. And then we've got all this speed, so now we don't really have to worry about worrying about all this exploration. So this is what we're gonna do, because we wanna have, um, we wanna get the cloud in the balloon, we wanna get the blizzard in the balloon. Also, uh, for the sake of things, I think I'm gonna toggle that appearance off, high visuals for that. So now we don't have to worry about seeing that. I mean, it's nice, but it kind of gets in the way, and uh, I mean, it's it's fine. Oh, uh, one thing, one other thing in the cave, uh, in the caves, I found I beat down a one of those um, sirens down there, like you know the uh, chick that we found down in the dungeon, and then she beat the hell out of us because she's scary. Well, I kind of wimped my way into a corner and just beat her down, and now we have this metal detector, and we don't even need to have it equipped to us we could just have it in our inventory and it'll tell us when chests are nearby or what the highest valuable ore is so that's really really amazing because uh, if we know that there's gold nearby and we needed it we could get that if we knew there was a even stronger ore nearby we could get that so now that we got that out of the way let's go ahead and create a new world and i will meet you there oh wait 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 before we do that before we do anything, and I know I've spent so much time on intros, uh, we want to get some gravitation potions uh, out of our things, because uh, we're going to use those to explore. All right. No, oh, uh, let me just use my mouse because it's much faster to get out of these things with my mouse. 
All right, single player. Let's do that. Come here. And then we want to create a new world. It's small. And uh, we're just going to do a normal world. And I'm just going to call... We're just going to call these... Uh, I don't know. We can do whatever. I'm just going to do that. And it should take too long to load anyway. Um, looks like we got a crimson world. That's not bad, though. Oh, um, between the last playthrough that we had last weekend and now we've actually updated twice technically one of them was a hot fix but the one before that added a bunch of stuff a bunch of uh well it's a lot of more so friendly things but uh nothing too significant but uh eh. I'll, I'll show you when we get there, when we get that stuff. Because I'm, I'm, I'm keeping my eye on patch notes now. I'm getting kind of excited over these things. That's kind of cool. Uh, but we don't have the NPC for some of this stuff anyway. So it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We'll get there. We'll get there. Okay, so we have a boulder and a cave. But um, okay, so here's what we want to look for. We want to look for two things. We want to look for a pyramid, and then we want to look for... Um, Oh, what's with it? A, um, a bunch of clouds. And since this is a small world, and since we have the Hermes boots, it's going to be by go by really quick for us. But I'm going to end up cutting out things until I find them, as is. Because uh, it, it would be really annoying for me to do all this. This looks like this is an underground pyramid. So let's we're going to dig through here. And we're going to see, hopefully, if we could get some sweet loot. Luckily, we ended up getting a world right away with that pyramid, so hopefully, 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 we could get that desert in a bottle pretty quick. So that way we can focus all our efforts on, um, getting the red balloons. I think those are going to be the things that's going to be a little annoying, especially since we're doing small worlds and it's harder to, uh, get certain things on small worlds. Okay, so I don't see anything. Here, but it looks like okay. There's probably pots over here, so we're gonna head this way. Uh, this episode's gonna, episode's gonna be a lot of cutted, but th all of this is gonna be well worth it in the future, especially after I beat the brain of Cthulhu. God, what a jerk! All right, here we go. Looks like we got some loot right off the bat. All right, so let's see what we have it here anyway. Um, Pharaoh's robes and a Pharaoh's mask. Okay, I can dig that. It's not what we wanted, but we can look baller anyway, so. Some cool vanity items. Oh, that's wicked. All right, so let's see if we can get any more chests down. Oh, well, let me kind of break some of these. Okay, and let's see if we can get some more chests on the way down. Probably not, though. A lot of these uh, pyramids, they like to do one chest. But, oh well, we got some cool clothes out of it, the deal, so. Yeah, okay, we're to the jungle. Um, underground jungle. I mean, it's not our purpose right now. It will be here soon enough, because there's other items that I want for uh, combining, but it's fine. Oh, also, I have all the hearts. We have all the hearts now, so we don't have to worry about that. Alright, so let's go back up surface, and I'm going to just explore up top. First Sky Island, okay. Oh, shoot. Oh, too high up. Okay, well, wow, when did I get the gesso or arrows? Oh, well, that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Point is, I have some jester arrows, and if I could stop f falling all over the place, that'd be great, but that's the... That's the drawback to the, um... What's the thing? Okay, so we got another ho horseshoe. We don't necessarily need that, but I'm gonna take it anyway, because that's, uh, money. Oh, well, this one's defense, so that's actually pretty helpful. Um, and then, you know what? I can loot all this. Eh. And we'll just keep on going. Alright, another chest. Let's see what we get in this one. And there's another balloon. Yay, okay. So we need just uh, one more. Sky mill, we don't need that. Night owl potion's helpful. Uh, that's helpful. That's helpful. And bombs we don't need, but I mean, I'm, I'm just going to grab them anyway. So just in case, 
Let's just go off to the end. Uh, we've reached the end of the world anyway, basically. Um, yeah, that's what I thought. That's pretty close to the surface, actually. <laughs> now, knowing statistics, I'm pretty sure that we're not going to get a second uh, balloon in this world, but eh, it's fine. Everything's randomly generated, and um, you, I mean, you never know. Sometimes things happen this way, but... Uh, in fact, I'm not even too sure if we'll get, we're going to have another Sky Island. Alright, so we did have another Sky Island. Let's see what's in this one. Uh, Star Fairy, Sky Mill. Okay, I want that, I want that. I want the recall potion. And move on to the next island. Alright, so we've got all that. So we could save an exit. We're going to make another world real quick. Alright, so there's a chest nearby. Let's go see if we got a desert real quick. This is going to be the most unorganized episode of all time. Well, that's not true. Though. That would have been the last episode. And trying to do the whole Brain of Cthulhu thing. I couldn't figure out how the hell to accomplish that. Because, um, I mean, I made all these plans for him. And uh, he just kind of rocked my world pretty hardcore. Uh, well, we got some we got an ice world, but not exactly what I was hoping for. I was hoping for some uh, Desert, but you never know there could be some desert around too Okay, there is a little bit of desert, but no, uh, I guess the big question now is to see if there's any um, What's a methane a uh, Pyramid be cool if they did a uh, crimson pyramid like have a this uh, red pyramid Be pretty badass. Okay, we got another big tree It's funny how easily we could get into space from here All right, so we got a dungeon with the old man. Which means we're probably at the end of the world anyway. So, so um, let's try the other side real quick. Sleeping angler. I don't know what that is, but this isn't the world, my world, so I'm not too focused on him. I'm sure it has to do with fishing or something. But, uh... All right, so I'm basically going to get to the other side of this, and uh, I'll let you know what I find. Well, I got some bad news. Um, couldn't find it on that, and I ran out of gravitation potions. So uh, let's see. Ma let me go back to the main world real quick, and uh, hopefully we can figure something out on this. Um, let's see. I want to do... What I could do is I could put a cloud in a bottle so I could get an ex my extra jump uh, anyway. Um, let me see. Let me... Uh, quick stack, please. All our gold safe now that we've picked up. We have our cloud in a bottle. Um, quick stack all that. Yeah, that's that blows. Um... Get our cloud in a bottle real quick. I'm gonna combine these and um, let's see, maybe just in case, quick stack that and that can be thrown in there. And okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get that and then hopefully, maybe, 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 probably not though. Uh, we can do something that will allow us to be able to uh, explore these a little bit more. It's going to be hard. It's going to be a lot harder now. But um, it's fine. We'll do this. Yeah, so now we got a little extra jump. Alright, so... Back to another world. All right, this is world number three. So I'm hoping that I can find some uh, more surface chests than anything. Not, well, not surface chests, just kind of 
Uh, God, I'm just hoping that for some reason I can get a cloud without having to go too far high up. Um, there's another strategy for finding these things, and uh, that's if you create a bunch of like meteor ammo. Uh, you can sh shoot straight up and then hope for the best. But um, I don't have meteor ammo right now. I mean, I have the ability to have the ability to make it, but um, because I know there's meteors nearby on my world, and I know exactly where they're at, but uh. Probably not gonna happen. By the way, that's a corruption area. That's uh, that's the other area that we have going on for us. All right, so nothing here. We're not lucky enough for this. Obviously, wow, that's a big old pit. All right, so more corruption. What I wouldn't give for some gravitation potions right now. But I don't think we're gonna do that. Be able to do that. It's cool they got all this platinum here, actually, because that's a slightly higher uh, defense value than gold, even though it's the replacement for gold. Well, I was hoping so much for that, but it's not gonna happen. Uh well, I'm gonna try the other side real quick. And if we can't get what we want, then um, I'm just going to call it an episode at this point. I mean, there's no reason to fight over it. That's an actual living tree dungeon. Okay. Let's see what we get down here, actually. I'm curious. There's not too many of these. Alright, so what's in this chest real quick? Uh... Living wood, leaf wand, so we could create living wood and leaves and tons. And I want all these because that makes me much more valuable. All right, so let's see if there's anything further down. Probably not, though. There never is. It's usually one thing and then it just leads to a regular dungeon. There's the regular dungeon. Cool. All right. So if there's a living tree, chances are there isn't a um, pyramid, because it's very rare that they put both of them in here. Please let there be something close. Oh, god damn. I want an island. Why can't you give me a sky island? All right, well, this was fruitless, so um, I guess in the next episode, um, we're going to take on the Brain of Cthulhu again. We're going to just see if we can get a little bit luckier on this. So until next time, this is Ryo Kuroku. Uh, thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys absolutely later. Uh, oh, boy.